don't click on the ads, they don't get the benefit of the ads, and you don't make any money. So by making sure that our users know what an iAd is with the little branding in the corner, they'll know that iAds don't hijack them out of their apps. It's built right into iOS 4. You can add iAds to your app in an afternoon. Simply tell us where you want us to place them. Everything else is done automatically because it's built right into the operating system. You don't have to, in essence, write an app to put an ad like this into your app. It's all done in iOS 4. Apple sells and hosts the ads, so all you have to do is tell us where to put them and make money. <laughs> you get 60% of the revenues, and you get paid via iTunes Connect the same way you get paid for your apps, and as you know, we pay very frequently. So that's what iAds are. Now, we've only been selling ads for eight weeks. We started selling ads about eight weeks ago, and I'd like to just uh, tell you about some of the brands that are going to be advertising with us during the second half of this year. These folks are the ones that have committed so far, and let me just uh, run through them now for you. Starting off with Nissan, City, Unilever, the second largest consumer products company in the world, AT&T. Chanel, very high-end brands. GE, Liberty Mutual, State Farm, and Geico. They want you guys to have some insurance. <laughs> Campbell's Soup, Sears, some, some great retailers. Sears, J.C. Penney, Target, Best Buy. DirecTV, the TBS network, and Disney. And those are some of the brands that have signed us up with us for the second half of this year. We couldn't be happier. Really excited about this. Now, I pulled, uh, all these folks are working on their iAds. None of them are quite done yet. But I pulled one in process. Uh, which was a Nissan ad. Nissan is going to use iAds to advertise their new fully electric car, uh, the Leap. And so I pulled their ad, and I just want to show it to you now. Again, it's a work in process. Uh, and uh, they were a little hesitant to, to have me show you, but uh, I, I wanted to show you. So I convinced them. <laughs> so this is a newsreader app. And as you can see, their banner popped in on the bottom. And I, as a user, can just tap on it. It takes over the screen and loads in, and any time I want to go, I didn't want to watch this ad, I just push this button up at the top, and I'm back in the app, right? So I can get back to the app instantly. Let me go back into the ad, in this case. So they're loading up a little bit of video, and here we go. This is the peace bomb. Instead of destroying things, it makes them better. It was invented in the year 2411, thanks to the antimatter chip, which was made possible by a new form of helium discovered on the moon in 2236. We got there by teleportation, which replaced the space elevator, which was built by the electric spacecraft, and it all started with the greatest invention of the year 2010, the 100% electric Nissan LEAF. It's amazing how, you know, 15 seconds of video, how compelling it can be. So now we've got this really cool navigator on the bottom that as I spin it around, it, uh, it uh, spins around the car. And uh, so let me show you a few things here. Uh, I can uh, say, oh, a new driver. You know, the only way you're going to be able to register to get one of these uh, uh, initially is uh, with, uh, with this uh, ad right on the iPhone. So if you're interested in the Leaf, you have to get an iPhone and uh, <laughs> register in this ad. So uh, let me show you a few things they've done. This is, this is very cool. They want to show how, how efficient the LEAF is. And they came up with this really cool way, uh, the new miles per gallon. And so you just tap on this, and it shows you that a LEAF goes 38 miles on a dollar, for a dollar. 
right? A dollar's worth of electricity in this case takes you 38 miles. How much will a dollar's worth of fuel uh, take you in some of these other cars? So you just push on the car, and you can see, well, a Hummer doesn't take you very far. Uh, you know, a Corvette takes you a little further, a Ford Taurus a little further. Uh, you know, Mini Cooper, it's kind of a cool car. That takes you about 10 miles. You know, a, a Civic, uh, they're, they're not so good. Here's a Prius, that's probably a little further. So, you know, this is a pretty doggone compelling way to get their point across. And it's fun. And so this is what iAds are all about. So, and, uh, and then one other very cool thing they're putting in here is the new prize. They are going to actually give away a car. And so you enter through the ad. So I can just shake my phone and change the color, you know? Well, let's say I want a red one. So I enter to win a red one. And, uh, oh, OK, sorry, well, I'll go with that one. And it pulls my name up, my contact information, and I can just submit it. And now I have entered uh, this contest to win a car. Pretty cool, huh? So that is an iAd. And I think a lot of people are going to try to win the car. It's a great idea. So iAds. iAds start. We're going to turn it on July 1st for all iOS 4 devices. So July 1st, less than a month from now. Now, how successful have we been in selling iAds? Well, we're new at this. We've never done this before, and we don't know what we're doing. Uh, but we've attracted some pretty exciting brands, and they have committed over $60 million for the second half of this year in the last eight weeks. Well, how much is that? Well, you know, JP Morgan just revised their study of US mobile display advertising in the year 2010. They just came out with it a few days ago. And they reiterated their number that they think the mobile display advertising market in the US for the whole year is going to be $250 million. Well, 60 million of that's about that much. But it's actually a little more, because we're only talking about the second half of the year. And so we're looking at iAds now with just the commitments we've gotten in the last eight weeks to be 48% of the second half 2010 entire US mobile display advertising market. We've only been at this for eight weeks, and we're not stopping selling. So we think we're off to a pretty great start. And we'll report back to you on how we do. Uh, but I would encourage you, if you're interested, to sign up for iAds, get the necessary stuff built into your app, and uh, Let's go put some ads out there and help, make, help you make some money, because that's our goal in this, to help you earn money so you can continue to create free and low-cost apps to delight users. And we think this is going to work, and we're really excited about it. So <clears throat> so those are the eight things I wanted to share with you on iPhone 4. What do you think so far? You like it? It's, it's a, I think it's a lot more than people thought it was. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Is it more than you thought? Yeah. Well, we're really pleased with it. But there is one more thing. <laughs> and I think it's best that I just show you. Now, I really want your Wi-Fi devices off. Are they off? <laughs> Please turn them off if you've turned them back on. So in 2007, when we launched the iPhone, it was my privilege to make the first public call on stage to one of my best friends in the whole world, Johnny Arve, the head of our design team. And uh, I'd like to do the same on this occasion. So I'm going to go ahead and call Johnny now. <clears throat> 